You know, there's nothing better to me than a homegrown tomato. We're with Tom McCusick from the Minnesota Horticultural Society. He's also the publisher of Northern Gardener Magazine and a tomato, oh, excuse me, heirloom tomato aficionado. That's right, Terry. <laughs> good to see you. And good to see you, Tom. Now, there, there are some, well, some really good guidelines to planting tomatoes properly. And you have a variety of different amendments for the soil. Can you tell us about these? Sure. Uh, tomatoes are heavy feeders, so uh, it's always good to put some sort of fertilizer in the hole when you're planting them, whether that's a commercial chemical-based time-release fertilizer like Osmocote or, or um, a formula that's blended for tomatoes, or there's also fish emulsion Okay. that some people favor and some people like uh, to use worm castings basically worm poop so <laughs> those are all natural uh, <laughs> amendments that really help your tomatoes get big fast and send them you know give, give them a good start okay. I also use some bone meal when I plant tomatoes because it provides phosphorus which uh, tomatoes like uh, and it helps them produce more and bigger tomatoes okay but now instead of fish emulsion there's something... Another solution? The yes. real deal. <laughs> fish heads. We're going to use fish heads. Are you ready to plant? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's take our fish heads and go. I've dug two pretty deep holes here. And what you want to do is prune off or pinch off all these bottom stems. And the tomato then will form, grow roots all along the, the main stem. Okay. You can measure in your hole, you can see how far down you have to go. Oh yeah. Drop it down there to see where you're at. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So you're good. Okay. And uh, just put a fish head in there, your fish head. Bye. <laughs> uh, and back to earth you go. Okay. <laughs> now let's, let's put enough soil in there, once you drop your All tomato right. in, to okay. uh, anchor it so it's stays put and then we'll add a couple of more amendments. Okay. So we're going to put a little bone meal in there and let's try some worm castings. Just get about a, a third of a cup of that. Okay. And do the same over here. So another about a third of a cup. Yeah. Okay. Now and we're ready to just fill the we're hole ready back to in. Fill the hole. This is a uh, piece of uh, tree protector, you know, for winter mm -hmm. time so rodents sure. don't go after the bark of young trees. I just cut this into sections. You can use a milk carton or a, a water bottle, cut into sections, plastic water bottle. This prevents uh, a cutworm from crawling along the surface. That's how they move. Uh, and then they'll just chew the, the sure. plant right off. So you can just slip that one on there. All right. Well, thank you, Tom. And as Tom waters in the tomato plants, which is, of course, a very good idea, then we are going to be getting ready to talk to Joel Karsten about straw bale gardening. Dig In is growing. From the west coast to the east, you'll see Dig In popping up everywhere with expert local gardening advice. Wherever you are, watch for Dig In, planting garden-to-table know-how across the country.